I recently went to South America on a holiday and not knowing what to expect, I did heaps of research on TripAdvisor. Here in the South American travel series, I'll be covering Argentina, Bolivia, Peru and Brazil. I'll be sharing with you my top picks of where to go, what to eat and where to stay, as recommended on TripAdvisor, along with a few travel tips that will help you on your South American travels. So come along on my journey as I explore South America and make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of these videos. Coming up on this part of my South American journey, I'll be covering Peru. I'll be visiting the famous Lake Titicaca and the floating islands, the once capital of Inca Empire, Cusco, from where I'll be starting my four-day Inca trail to Machu Picchu. There was so much to do and explore in Peru, so I'll be splitting my Peru journey into three parts. Make sure you watch till the end for tips on what to pack and how to prepare for Inca Trail. I'm in Puno navigating through the deep Lake Titicaca, making my way to Uros, which is home to the Uro people who live on floating islands made out of reeds. I booked my tour to the floating islands via Bolivia Hop. It costed me 10 US dollars. I used Bolivia Hop bus service to get to Puno from La Paz. For more info, watch my Bolivia video. I'll leave a link to it in the description bar below. Lake Titicaca is one of the coolest places I've ever visited. The Uros floating islands were pretty cool. This visit gave me a chance to sit down with a local woman and hear a bit about their way of life on the island. If you get a chance, book a one night homestay tour and spend more time exploring different floating islands and spend time with the locals. While you're there, take your passport with you as you can get a cool Lake Titicaca stamp on your passport. Back in Puno, I have the whole day to explore before I hop on the Bolivia Hop bus to get to Cusco. I was a little time bound, so I stuck to the main center of Puno, visited Plaza de Hermes, and tried out some local food. As you walk along the main street, there is so much food everywhere, and you're just spoiled for choice. Cusco right now in Plaza de Armas which is the center of the city and I'm so excited to explore the city because as you can see it is so busy right now I'm gonna go check out what's happening here and go try out some awesome Cusco food. After talking to a couple of locals I found out that the people of Cusco are celebrating Corpus Christi. Apparently it's celebrated in the whole country but the fiesta is most impressive in Cusco. I have to say this is a very colorful and traditional ceremony, an excellent opportunity to taste Peruvian culture real close. For dinner I went to Baro Ceviche Seafood Restaurant. This place is ranked number one restaurant in Cusco. The food here was delicious. I highly recommend you make a visit to this place. On day two, I met up with our Inca Trail tour group and went on a guided tour around Plaza de Hermes and ended up at Choco Museo where I got to do a chocolate tasting and made my own concoction of hot chocolate. So I'm exploring the colorful streets and the cobblestone streets of Cusco and it's evening at the moment so it's kind of getting a little bit chilly but I have to tell you Cusco is amazing. There's so much to do and I have so little time here so I'm kicking myself for not spending quite a lot of time here but I'm going to try make the best of it. If you come into Cusco make sure that you have plenty of time to explore this city and I just did my briefing today. I'm going to Machu Picchu um, in a couple of days. My trip is going to be officially starting tomorrow and I'm very very excited but one thing though altitude sickness is a real thing. I think we're at 
300 and 3,400 meters above sea level, something along those lines. I'll put the actual numbers down here, but altitude sickness is real. When you're walking up the streets, everything's uphill, you can really, really feel it. Your heart gets tired super quickly, but your body can still keep going on, if that makes any kind of sense. So yeah, Machu Picchu starts tomorrow and I am excited. For dinner, I went to Morena, which is a sister restaurant of Barra Ceviche, and this is ranked number four in Cusco. The interior is so cool and the food is excellent. I ordered El Lomo Saltado, which is Peru's famous beef stir fry. Also, when in Peru, try the Inca Cola. You can get this drink only in Peru and it somewhat tastes like a cream soda. If I had to choose between Morena and Barra Ceviche, I suggest you go to Barra Ceviche. I enjoyed the food much better in comparison to Morena. I booked my Inca Trail with Intrepid and the tour I'm going on is called Inca Trail Express. It is a 7 day tour with a 4 day hike to Machu Picchu. Today I'm making my way to Oliente Tambo through the Sacred Valley. But first I'm making a stop to visit a Quechua community that live in the valley and to learn about the local lifestyle and language. The locals are so friendly, I received a very warm welcome and they dressed me up like a Quechua lady. We went to their farm, dug some potatoes and broad beans, which was so much fun. It was a market day and I had the opportunity to browse the local handicrafts and buy some souvenirs. They danced with us and sent us off by saying the Pananchi Skama, which means not goodbye, see you again in Quechua language. I then continued my journey to the town of Oliente Tambo. I'm currently in Oliantambo. It's evening at the moment. The whole day I've been traveling from Cusco to Oliantambo, visiting local people, doing local things, and we're finally here. But tomorrow, it's the big day. That's when the hike starts. But for now, I want to show you how beautiful Oliantambo is. So let's go have a look at the views from my room. I loved everything I did on this day, visiting the locals, dressing up like them and helping them with their daily activities. I had so much fun. I'm here in Oli and Tambo and today is the most exciting day ever because I will be starting my trek today. My trek is for four days and today is going to be day one. So I'm all packed up and ready to go. We're going to be driving for 82 kilometers from the town of Oli and Tambo and from there we will start our trek to Machu Picchu. So it's time. We are at the start point of the Inca Trail and I'm going to be starting my four day trek right here. So excited. Let's go. Here I met with our crew of local porters, cook and guide. This is my tour group and these are the people that I spent most of my time with during my four day Inca Trail. I was given an allowance of 4 kgs for personal items like clothes, torches, etc. and a 3 kg allowance for the sleeping bag that I was carrying. The first day included uphill trekking to the campsite, which is at 3,100 meters above sea level. On the way, I saw Inca sites of Oriente Tambo, Ulca Rakai, and Ectapata, as well as incredible views of snow capped Veronica Peak. Taking a water break. Because this is just day one, but I'm pooped. Till day one, taking a short break and enjoying the beautiful views of this Incan little city. It's quite nice up here. End of 
day one. Just got to the base camp. Our base camp's all set up. Can't wait to freshen up and just chill for a bit. Let's go. Let's go. In the evening, I had a siesta with the rest of our tour group, followed by a delicious dinner at the campsite. The meals are always three course, starting with a soup and mains consisting of protein and carbs to keep those energy levels up and followed by a delicious dessert and sometimes a banana flambe if you're lucky. We started our trip somewhere around here and we're now in this area. We're going to be walking all the way up here to the Dead Woman's Pass to get to this area. Dead Woman's Pass is supposed to be the most challenging leg of this trip and that's today. So let's see how we go. I had to walk up a long steep path for approximately 5 hours to reach the highest point of the trail, providing amazing views of the valley below. This is just the first leg of Dead Woman's Pass and it's just endless stairs. I'm so tired. So I have 20 minutes to go and it's just stairs. And I had this the whole day. Whole freaking day. Yay, my stupid. I started off way below where those huts are. There are some huts there. That was where our lunch was. Made it down from there. Went up that hill. All the way, 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 all the way. And now I'm here. Enjoying this beautiful view. And I still have more to go. I have so many tips that I want to share with you, so I'll be breaking them down into pre-trip preparation, during and post. Here are my first five tips to help you on your Inca journey. Tip number one, make sure you book your Inca trail several months in advance because there are limited spaces available. I booked mine seven months in advance and I recommend you book yours as soon as possible. Tip number two, get your travel vaccinations. Talk to your local doctor to find out what vaccinations you need and get them at least two to three months in advance. Tip number three, bring shoes that are designed for hiking. Make sure they're waterproof and comfortable because you will be walking 10 hours or more a day in all sorts of terrain. Tip number four, buy altitude sickness pills. You can buy these in Cusco. I personally got mine from my GP and start them at least three days before your Inca trail. Trust me, they really help. Tip number five, bring snacks. My tour provided us with snacks, but I took some additional protein bars, some coca candies, and high fat raw snacks for the extra energy boost. So just completed the dead woman pass. She's right behind me. Uh, apparently, how do I show you guys this? That's her nose. That's her neck and that's her boobies or something. But yeah, anyways, that's the dead woman and I just passed her. So going pretty good. Two more hours to the campsite. So I'm just walking downhill now. End of day two, almost there. I'm trying to get to the campsite and that will be it. Day two complete. Well, not yet. Once we get to the campsite, it's not too far away. It's says the tour guide so yay so excited I've done today because it's supposed to be the hardest made it to the camp this is my little camp setup looks pretty good hot water here to wash these dirty legs and look at the views from my campsite isn't this beautiful that concludes part one of Peru Part 2 will be out soon with more vlogs from the Inca Trail and with tips and tricks to help you along your way to Machu Picchu. Join me on my journey by subscribing to my channel and also hit that notification button so you don't miss out on my next video. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.